We're here live from my bedroom in sunny Singapore. We have Woody versus Andy here in the semi-finals of the Throne of Champions, organized uh, by the Eurovision Discord admins. These are the top 12 players of the previous month's QM, being the Eurovision QM, and Andy being spot number one against Woody, who I believe was spot number two. Let me double check here and see what position Woody finished. And I believe it was three, and then uh, Woody. Uh, sorry, Marco was number two. Yep, Marco was spot number two. And Woody finished third in January's QM. So here we are. Bottom right, Andy going Yuri. Couple lag spice, but it seems pretty smooth. And Woody going Rock. So predictions are still open, boys. Come and bet your channel points to gain some new. Brand new spanking channel points. Andy going for the far gems here. I think he's just saving the other patch for the other one. Uh, the, 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 the smaller jam patch is based for his other miner. There's a lot of mining time wasted there. The dog just kind of harassed him a little bit. But he actually microing is out to go all around to go to the other side. Okay, there's a fair few last fight coming through. I'm going to change it back to the Will's Cali one after this. Oh, three minus in for Woody. And he's still on two. He has a first get out. But the thing we're going to see from Andy here is a lot of Yuri dominance and a lot of... Uh, if he goes allied, it'll be a lot of NG near IFVs or NG near IVs. Let's see how that goes. Flag being spanned out now. It looks like Woody is going full tech. And Andy moving some speed towards middle, I think. Yeah, I like this one, Woody. You don't need to go Rhinos right at the start. But that being said, I think Andy is going to go straight towards mid or straight in Yuri's base to uh, Woody's base. There's the Desert Bomb. And just pulls Andy back for a bit. Out comes the Deploy. That is his only MCV. Connie has been spammed out now along with a couple of Rhinos. DK, thank you very much for follow. So we've got Get Mag and a power plant in the middle for Andy. It's a good position if he wants to get a ref there early. That's a. I believe that's a Dust Bomb going around the right side to harass the miners. Andy now deploying on Woody's side of the base. It is starting to lag quite a bit. There's that flag. Woody out with a lab now. And that flak, I'm not sure what is going there. Whether there's an engineer inside of it or a... Uh... Oh, definitely a Desto. Definitely a Desto. It's going straight for the miners. There you go. And then it's being deployed. A lot of mining time denied there by Woody. So in this eco, it's going to get a hit here. Woody is on three, four, five minus. And they obviously moving towards... Wood his side means that he won't be able to expand downwards to the ore patch and gem patch here. He can still probably get the gem patch, but the ore patch is gonna be slightly harder now. Flat is incoming into Andy's base. The lab is out. Try to go for the lab. The psychic tower does come up, so push away the flat from getting that lab out of the way. Connie's time now incoming for Woody into Andy. Andy's eco is still getting hit here. The Desol finally goes down. When this time is successful, it will push back. But there's no get there for the bunker. The gets are way out of position here. The middle by rats is getting hit as well. Woody just pushing forward with the conscripts. He will push Andy back to his own side of the base. Uh, to his side of the map, sorry. And down goes the by rats in the middle as well. The lab is out though for Andy and he does have enough power. In comes the mastermind now. 
Is this a pretty weird game here? We're saying not a traditional Yuri camp build. This is what you see from Andy most of the time. Different, different builds, out of the box builds. Those Cardis are doing a lot of work, getting their month's pay. Four or five elites now in the mix, and Andy knows he can't. He can't approach that Connie. Kind of approach that group of corners because the mass money will immediately get overloaded. Yeah, drone that drone that MCV. It is possibility. Would he not get that IC up after pushing Andy back? So no super start of Andy, obviously because he was moving his MCV, he did manage to save it and pull it back. That care of still incoming, no sneaky care in today. Here Prime is out as well. And now Andy goes in on the counter down towards middle once again. Drones are being spammed out for that I see. Two or five trees for Andy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight minus four. Andy, the rhino sign coming over to the right hand side. Flats being overloaded. Drones are there, there's only one get, so if we can get that get out of the way, he can but Andy good control there, but one drone does get in. And eventually all the gets go down. Two mass mines and one mag remaining. But I see he's ready in 20 seconds as well. So we'll see how that goes. I think what is gonna I see is Rhino says prepping up for an IC. There it goes. All six of them fully I seed. What is his target here? Surely he has to go for the lab or the MCV. That Porsche should be up by now. Looks like he is gonna go for the MCV. Porsche is not ready from Andy. It does go down anyway. Perfect timing there for Andy waiting for the Porsche to go up for the runners to be in optimum position. For his units to get in a good position, then popping out that four shield and three rhinos that are surviving. Getting mind controlled. The drones to take care of it. Good defense there from Andy. The genetic mutator is out ready for mutation in a minute and a half. Look at the amount of flags what he has here. All three war factories, obviously. Uh Eo Sanse Leo six. Minus or seven for Woody. And now in comes like Kirov still coming here. Uh, I'm not sure when Andy realizes it. He starts making some gas now. The middle push goes in. Flax only. What are you hoping to overload the mass mines there? And then the flag can do the rest of the damage. In comes Akirov now. Looks like the flags are desperately going towards the grinder. What he kills the grinder. The second grinder is still there. And the lag coming through. But no masterminds remaining. Down goes the flag. The material goes out as well. Rhinos being I see it on the left side. Hey, Kirov still wrecking havoc there. Gonna go for the lab. No four shield available for Andy. And that's gonna slow him down a little bit. Woody probably gonna run away here with his rhinos that were I seed. Good damage there done from Woody. Andy couldn't really uh, defend against that. Well, he tried to absolutely tried to but the masterminds there getting overloaded he was sending them to one grinder the gear grinder got destroyed by the Kirov who was made by like the early early game very early game and then the Kirov took, took out the other grinder so the the the, the flag didn't have anywhere to go to Bruce now incoming the drone going all the way around the back to get the mastermind You need Lasher coming out. And look at all the veteran units that Andy has all of a sudden. Elite Lasher, Vet Lasher, Vet Rhino. Three Vet Gats. And the ties have suddenly changed and it's not looking good for Woody now. On the counter, Elite Gat comes out. The Miner should be able to take care of the rest of the units. Obviously, Yuri, Yuri units having very low health. But have very, very annoying weapons. So a couple miners are going down. I think one miner or two went down and one more was heavily damaged there. Oh. 
But the eco looking great for Andy. 18k in the bank. Woody's eco is slowly going down, but he has to spend it, so his eco will be back up and running pretty soon here. Woody gonna start to annoy the miners here, a couple of rhinos along the way. Getting hit from both sides actually. One miner goes down for Andy. Second miner getting hit down in mid. Andy left one war factory. Second one being built now, but a lot of rhinos hitting the eco here. He obviously does have that mutator if he needs to uh, needs to grind a couple brutes. But the mag being up, coming up, pushes Woody back, and another miner goes down here. So Andy lost about three miners there. Two along the bottom, one down in mid, or or maybe four, two in mid, two on the bottom. Five more factories now for Woody. I'm not sure why the backwards factory is being primed, but. Woody not going on broke, he needs to get some eco going here. Andy obviously has the eco, but the production may or may not be there, we'll see. Your units obviously, again, I've stayed very low health, but very annoying to deal with the mag, that mastermind especially. I see goes out there, I think Andy just baiting Yuri, baiting Woody to pop out the IC. And out it goes, mastermind goes down. Gonna go for the radar next. No more mags coming out, and then one more mastermind is still there. Woody can definitely click on that mastermind if it comes towards the elite rider. Comes out, gets uh, God gets mind control. By right, that second tower around there, elite goes down. The mastermind goes down as well. The lab is out next. No force shield out. Nothing else going around the map. And the Yuri clones are being spammed out from the war uh, from the barracks. Those get squished, but the lab is down. That means that masterminds won't be coming out in a quick minute along that radar as well. So no mag to mastermind. Woody does have an opportunity to, to hit while the radar and lab is down. Now the radar come back. It's up to the mags. We'll be able to come to fruition in production. So Woody maybe or slightly over prepped for the uh, max there. No dicks though coming up from Andy so far. When he had a lab out, I mean. Couple units are going towards bottom left along with the two man control rhino trying to go for that second lab. No, this is the first lab. He had a first one there, I think got destroyed. So lab goes down and Andy rebuilt his lab. Very amazing player from both players. Andy on the defensive. And Woody on the offensive. And out comes the flag. Now incoming flags help you do quite a bit of damage to buildings whenever they're grouped up together. Down goes the lab and Andy quits out, giving the first point to Woody. It, it was really laggy. Um, I'm not I'm not uh, I'm being uh honest here. It was Tech building. It was slightly it was playable, but there were there were lag spikes, it was pretty annoying. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, uh, I would still play on if I had those lag spikes, but I understand why Andy thought it was laggy. Th that's why we uh, had a, uh, like, five to ten minutes of lag test beforehand. We have tunnels on the ready. But we're looking at dry heat here. Second game of the day. That yeah, first game took about 20 minutes or about 15 minutes or so. And the walling in its MCV is what are you gonna block it? No. Take a shot. <laughs> so no scout from oh yeah, that was a scout from Andy. I was about to say no scout from Andy, but he just made a scout there. Again here, Woody, we've seen this time and time again along that first game. The dogs hitting the uh, the slave miners there. Actually doing quite a bit of damage. The slave miners take a while to regain the slaves. And to kill that dog. But in comes the Connie's now towards the middle. The gat is out. No bunker. He's gonna try and hit that war factory. He's gonna die for it. Cells. Woody pushing forward with conscripts once again. Out comes that Gatling turret. 
Woody now going for the power. Radar is up as well. He's still a one minor here. Desso's out. Incoming to probably zone out. He gets and he constantly going low power here. The brute comes in. The brute from the scout earlier. And I believe Woody was trying to use those vessels to zone out and still kill the slave miner sir. So Woody clearly has a plan to uh, get his eco out of the way. Get Andy's eco down. And it should be pretty easy, which is uh, a very, very viable strat if you're going up against a Yuri player. And that miner on Jens being pushed back and it does go down. Along with the other units here. Not much lag coming up from here. Just a little bit of lag spice. Deso deploying. And Andy now low power once again. Woody broke, but Andy still has some eco. Woody now on three miners rebuilding. That mag is out from the radar. Woody trying to get it and does get it down. The warfare actually now is going to get hit. Great display of pressure here by Woody. Getting that eco down. The dogs especially killing that slave miners. Man. Yeah, it's a small thing, but it's actually pretty fucking huge here. It delayed the slave miners from mining and the slave miner actually produces miners uh slaves sorry not instantly so it does take a bit of time there and second game goes to woody that's why i'm wondering it is the best of 13 so players do have time to try out different strats oh looks like a left is left here So I'm just wondering whether Andy, obviously losing right now, should be trying up different strats here. So it's not a game here. He is going to stick Yuri. But I wonder when the allied double engineer is going to come out. Because obviously Woody seems to be pretty confident in dealing with an SVY. So test out the SVA, especially against a double Yuri. And then we'll see how it goes. Gonna be a 7 0. I don't think it's gonna be a 7 0. I think Andy would definitely put up a fight. And in comes the dogs once again. Andy now smart, adapting to his play, sending three initiates to deny the dog. I, I'm, I fucking tell you what, everyone's gonna try and do this shit now with the dogs on the slave miners. I guarantee you, someone like Legend will see this and start doing that. <laughs> we've, seen, we've seen people do it once, once in. Uh, See people do it before, sort of copying people's play style to uh, help them in there as we wise. But oh, Angie got eaten. Shit, didn't see it. Yeah, that's why I heard people talking about uh, engineers there. But he, he's Yuri. He doesn't have a uh, he doesn't have a transport. So. But you know, five minus. There is a cheeky little Connie behind that. King of Dar, thank you for the follow. Yeah, this is. I just saw your uh, your comment earlier. This is a bunch of fun, nostalgic, especially. So, Woody moving after his first war factory, getting two more minus out. Andy now. Your sunset will see six minus in. But um, whether it's uh, whether someone thinks it's unplayable or playable doesn't really matter because if both players are going to play on. Sorry, what I meant is we do have footage of this. So like this is definitely playable. There's a couple lag spikes, but it is most definitely playable and we need to uh, go with whatever we have now. Flag incoming. Uh, I think there was a Deso in that. Another death bombing coming here. Woody prepping with the Connies into the buildings as well. Got me wanting to play this game again, dude. Exclamation point how to play. You'll find a YouTube video from uh, from our dear friend Brian Vahe. And you can uh, you can stop playing this game again, man. And comes the death bomb again on the miners. 
This is trouble because Andy only has one miner on that patch, so has only miners on one patch. So immediately the slave miners are gonna get hit hard here. Were they all the way up to lab tech as well? So that's so again being deployed. Means that it will deny him once again and another that's so being deployed. Second MC be coming out here for Andy. Andy desperately trying to get the miners to kill that Deso, but Woody is too quick with it. And in comes the fuck ton of Condis down in the middle once again. Woody now onto a lab tech with that IC out. And now the Deso getting deployed at the micro from this man. Uh, unfortunately, he can't do that for way too long because the, the flag will get hit by those Desos. No miners in the corners for Andy. The bunker, he does get managed to get a bunker up with the cat inside of it. And I clear off once again. Two bunkers now. Those Desos, man, getting hit again and again here, Woody. And he's gonna pop a mastermind down by the minor fields to protect it. Obviously having, obviously having that lab out along with that genetic mutator. So Woody is now spamming flex once he saw that incoming before that. He was spamming a couple rhinos, uh, which are down in bottom left. And the constant harassment here by Woody. Really, really great here. What's up, Steve? You are late. <laughs> I listen, your your timing as well is not that not that late for you. Mutated gonna mutate it. I see it's not ready as well, and that Kirov now waiting. How comes that I see onto the rhinos? You're gonna hit the power here. What damage can be done here by Woody? He's gonna go for the power and the MCV. So that production down. And he does have another MCV and now in comes the coins as well. So not just a one-dimensional attack here by Woody. Gonna pull out the aggro here and go the Connie's onto the bunker. One bunker goes down the longer that second get. Second bunker is now getting hit. And now the ma oh I thought he would go into the minus once again, but down goes the second bunker here. Yeah, it's about is being this really greatly. The grinder is there, so I can assume that a psychic is gonna come up soon by Andy getting hit now. Woody wants to go for the MCV. The masterminds are there to help it. And he's gonna defend it well here and the two well-timed masterminds there and now in comes the rest of the units almost getting that mcv out of the way and he's now moving all of his miners down to the other side he is rich on 10k so not an issue three war factories for andy we got five for woody Good defensive play there by Andy and an amazing push here from Woody. Was really smart to keep using those desserts to deny his eco. But it looks like he's actually paying out here. The eco from Andy, not the greatest, while Woody is running away on 6k. And it comes that care of now. The mastermind is getting overloaded, but the grinder is nearby. It does get overloaded anyway. In comes the care of not getting hit. Tons of gas nearby. It does get rid of that bunker. Where is that Deso bomb? It seems to have gone down here. Now the three war factories here from Woody down the bottom. Icy comes out as well. This man is full of micro. He's gonna go for the masterminds here and that fall war factory. He can't take this MCV out, which will be huge here. Elite Rhino comes out. Woody knows that the MCV is not a viable target. I think those masterminds are there. He's gonna run away. I'm taking the barracks out. He can't get the elite uh, mastermind now. In comes a flag around the other side. Sakitara comes out. Woody hoping to get a power up but does not. Andy on the defensive running away now. The mastermind is coming towards bottom right. He needs to be careful that he's not getting his elite. Oh, the flag. Give that grinder in the by Woody. Making a big mistake there. Throwing away off his flag with that grinder nearby. It looks like Andy defends well once again. And now Woody will be on the defensive here. Newt comes out. Here's Sunset. We will see. We've got nine war factories out of Woody. Usually uh, the Euro players have to spam war factories there. Well, not usually, but we've seen it happen once before. This time the overload comes in. 
But the mag's not doing the damage. Oh, Andy, the micro. The micro to pull that rhino onto the mag to get rid of the miner. But he does defend well here, Woody. And the elite rhino is still in play, obviously. It's a good speed here, no lag. Oh, very minimal. I see drones, that comes out. I've got eight wolf trees on Woody. I thought it was nine. The eco now, despite Andy starting that, uh, starting with a rough eco, he does manage to rebuild it. It's on 23k now. <laughs> Obviously, having that muted as well. Wood is slowly gonna run out of money here, which is why he is spending towards the right, top right, inside the map. You saw Woody trying to hit Andy there. But Andy just defended really well. And again, that middle, that was that middle, uh, flag thingy which he did trying to overload the mastermind and the grinder was so nearby but in comes the split from woody now he while ellie's attacking he's actually backdooring him backdooring him backdooring him he's gonna try over the initiates mastermind is coming pulling back to defend that the flags once again trying to overload but to no avail woody running away with the elite rhino Andy now with middle control. It's gonna be hard for Woody to do any pushes here. It's gonna be forced. Oh, and that elite gets mind controlled anyway. Andy not gonna use that elite to a devastating effect. Uh, but Woody, oh, I thought he was gonna use that elite onto uh, the drone onto the elite, but apparently not. But a lot of expansion now goes down. The drones are there to deal with it. Now the elite can do some damage here, Woody. He needs to do that elite, he does get drones. There you go, finally goes down, not before taking one miner with it. And he looks to be making a comeback here after getting hit early with that pressure. The nuke is getting hit in Detroit here. This is to be a target. That was the lab. Almost took out the radar as well. Another mutator. So even more money for Andy. All of a sudden the ties have turned here. Early game pressure by Woody. Showing to be pretty useful, but Andy defended well. And he is seems he seems to be making a comeback here. Woody now broke and he is getting hit on that right hand side. The flat is coming into overload. Grinder is nearby. Let's see whether he can get it in time. No, he does not. Fortune comes out to defend that MCV as well. The flats are coming to defend by Woody. No money to. Ah, oh dear. Okay, he does manage it to defend and hide off his MCV there, but no Rhino is available. And he seems to be running out of ore as well. I see getting popped. Andy wants that MCV down, man. Uh, will he get it in time? I think he will. He definitely will here. The drones, not enough. The MCV goes down for Woody. So the only working ref now is down in top right. The rest of the refs uh, here will be long distance mining wherever he goes. And I just from Woody coming around the bottom here. Just get a few buildings out of the way. But more importantly, the radar is still up and the lab is not here, so the flags will be saved for any building hits or for the next when the next uh, battle lab comes up. Dice have not turned. Woody now regain his eco. Somewhat, uh, somewhat even now, uh, despite uh, not including that eco. But look at the units on the field here. And they very little units after getting hit with the flag overload. And now Woody can come around the bottom here with the rhinos. Genetic mutant to get sold. No super weapons for him. Another flash coming around the top as well. Andy low power. Gonna turn around and get Woody's uh, Andy's army. Woody's still hitting here. This is looking good for Woody. After massing a bunch of rhinos down in bottom left. He still has a few here. 
and the power is still low from Andy. The warfighter is gonna get hit along with that MCV next. This looks to be GG here. No units from Andy at all. Low power. Warfighter goes down. MCV goes down. Andy pulling it out the bag here. Woody and Andy goes down. So again, the tide turns and turns and turns and turns and turns and now it's back. Woody. After Andy pulled it back there, another comeback. From amassing those rhinos bottom left there. Amazing play there from both players. From both players, definitely. Andy defended really well there, but Woody just... God damn. God damn. I know it looks like I'm when Woody says lag, then I'll restart it. But the previous games were were uh, were playable. The lag, the the start of the Pueblo game was not. There was a couple, Tactical few more lag spikes. The player looked smooth, and the Yuri spinner is spinning. Looks better. Woody is China version of Latov Path. What? I disagree with you there. Dude. Okay, anyways, Pueblo. Uh, Lag seems a lot better this time. Connections. I mean, in the sense that Latov and both Latov and Woody rarely makes any mistakes, then yes. But uh, other than that, <laughs> I don't think you can compare Latov to Woody, mate. That's a totally different argument right there. I think Latov is great, and his plays are very unorthodox, but the micro that Woody has, man, it's way different. How comes an engineer? I'm not sure where that came from. Might be a flag on night, and it is. I think Woody might be looking to capture the power from Andy. Andy with a very early MCV move. Woody trying to body block that, not really working out. Let's see where Jin is up to there. already an engineer along the top here. I did not see that. Here comes another engineer coming from Woody. He's gonna go for... Uh, he doesn't get a point just yet. Woody very patient here. And now that Rhino is there to deflect any gats incoming, so he does have full rain here, but the Gatling bunker or Gatling tank should be turret, should be ready. Out comes the engineer is gonna go for that MCV is forcing I need to sell everything here. What? That was a very, very patient play from Woody there. Look at how patient he was in uh, forcing forcing Andy to sell that power, sell that barracks. And now Woody can't keep on the pressure. He does have three minus one war factory. Sakitar comes up. And Andy does defend well with one single Sakitar, but surely that is a lot of time wasted from Andy there. Shame that the NG are out. I don't think it's a shame that much because mainly Woody doesn't do it often. Here's the thing about engineers though, I think, I think they're pretty bullshit if you keep doing it over and over and over again as like uh, your only way to win. But if you're someone like Woody, have you seen, you've seen Woody done in SVY, like amazing micro. So for someone like him to try out an engineer here and to great effects, he's actually doing really well. Oh no, Woody. One minor being lost there. Another energy flag coming around the back. Again, forces Andy to sell his war factory. Slowing Andy down once again. Meanwhile, Andy is getting Woody's minus. And this is painful. That's his only refinery. But Woody quits immediately. Too much damage done there from Woody. So that's the one thing Woody tried and did not work out. He tried that NG, uh, NG flag. And it did actually work to a great extent. But... He just <laughs> focused way too much in there and he lost like three minus at all. 
So no steamroll today, that's right syndrome. Dorado Descent is being picked up next. coming through mm. might I need to reload the tunnel here yes can't read if they want to but uh, I want to play on the can A little bit lag spike, hopefully, it does pick up, uh, like die down halfway through. Okay, it seems like we're playing on, and we are playing on. So, we're gonna start top right, and you know, sipping to uh, swapping to allied, and then comes a double NGIV. So, this was, uh, we'll see how Woody deals with this. It does get scouted off. So Woody should be able to reply against this and his reply is that bunker. The bunker is not full. So it will be slightly less effective than a full bunker. We saw this happen once before with someone else. I forgot who it was. But the seal was not enough to... Uh, the bunker was not enough. Three bunkers, three Connies. Excuse me, in a bunker was not enough to deal with this NGIV. And you go in two miners here, and one grizzly along the right hand side. Hmm. Woody's just spamming out the miners here, and it comes to double NGIV. Obviously, Woody. Good thing that power plant down the bottom. Power plant. Down the bottom means that NG, Andy can hit the engineer from both ends here. The bunker comes out, the war factory does not get engineered and Woody successfully defends against a double NGIV so I'm gonna give it to uh Woody, Woody did ask for the re and then did say no so we are gonna play on well on that Pueblo game uh, and he did say that was lagging. We did it. In comes Woody now on the offensive. We got three, four, five, six miners here. And he now on the defensive. He is gonna put some field balls and moves his miners all the way down to the first all patch. Um, and he just said he had 100 seconds to uh, click on that. That being the engineer. I just uh, replied saying that Woody asked for the rebuy and he said no so we are gonna play on here and he getting hit there more rhinos incoming he does not have enough units to defend so he's resulting to GGI's and Rocketeers here Woody's next target after getting the AFC is going to be the barracks all the power here to slow him down just a little bit more but adding on the offense, uh, defensive I think Woody is going to keep streaming in his rhinos here AFC does get rebuilt for more Octaves come out, but the MCV is now getting hit. GGIs are gonna come out, pillboxes as well. MCV does get sold. Woody keeping on the pressure here, but I think once he got the MCV done, he's gonna take it back and chill. Or he can keep up the pressure, and it looks like he's gonna keep up the pressure. One miner goes down, second miner does get micro chrono back. He needs a flag here, uh, Woody, or else his, his miner, his run is gonna get hit constantly, but Andy. It's gonna GG out. And that is 4 to 1 here. Um. <laughs> uh. 
Stream Deck knows the game, yeah. Excuse me, Stream Deck. Why did you die? Alright, Goranium Fields. I think the last time we saw Andy on this map, um... Was it against... Was it... Legend? I don't quite remember, but... This map was being played. And obviously, if you look around the map, you can see that, uh... The, 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 the map might be called Goranium Fields, but not really a field here. Very, very scarce or all over the map, which is why there's, I think, often go Yuri. So, why VY? Um, whoa, Woody's refinery is uh, just being really slow. Oh, wait, Woody went for... Andy went for a refinery before the barracks. Interesting. Yeah, Andy went for a refinery first, uh, a miner, then the barracks. Take it easy, I got work tomorrow. Oh, syndrome. If only you can hear the amount of lag coming through here. I don't know about you, but that's a fair bit of lag. Huh, syndrome? I want a photo of every single shot you take, my dude. <laughs> well, let's go a miner each. The radar is out for... Woody immediately... Oh, sorry, I'm voting for Andy. Woody... Oh, Woody! Woody stopped left, so Woody went for a... Miner before the barracks. And he goes for that second ref as well. How comes that? Mm. It's like grinder. So got 3 minus to 2, Woody obviously going for that second refinery, so radar instead of a radar and the grinding of the NCV goes on there for Andy. So Andy grinds his MCV, he is gonna be having that sort of 3k advantage. And he is on the offensive here, Woody trying to get some eco going. And now the Mario comes out. Only now does the radar come out And he seems to be in trouble here And the two mags, three cats, one Yuri clone And a third mag incoming Woody is in trouble here, obviously trying to wipe you why No eco for Woody But if he does defend this, if he defends this well he will be able to hit Andy when he is on low eco But uh, I'm not sure whether he himself will have much eco to defend after this The Yuri clone comes up here in clutch So a makeshift mastermind here For Andy Woody pulling in the miners now as the last bit of defense That's yeah, so when you know things are getting tough The miners can definitely respond and defend But the mag is there To pick up any stray miners being deployed, undeployed. Elite mag coming out here for Andy. And he's still just on two minus here. One obviously on gems. He clearly has a plan here on this map, and he has a playstyle. Grinded the MCV, moved one miner to the gems in the middle. And now it's proving to be actually working out pretty well. It's actually probably working out very well for him at the moment. He has Woody on the defensive. Even though he is on low eco. Ah uh, yeah, I believe grinding an MCV gives you the full amount back. If you sell it, you get half of it back. I'm not too sure. Yeah, so an MCV costs 3000. So if you... Uh, if you grind something, you get the full amount of it back. There you go, Woody grinds his MCV as well. So now Woody has the equal advantage here after managing to hold Andy for a bit. The mags are getting magged now. That elite mag that range. It is on low health. The miner finally takes care of it. Woody with a micro to target that elite mag. But it is a little too late. Andy with a clear plan on Goranium Fields does 
pull one on the board here four two two let's get a preview on my phone so i can check whether we're actually back tech building captured there's shit to go yep squad is four to two thank you very much and we are back in action here divide freeze bottom left top right Andy going to America now while well, Woody's thing as a rock so Woody has not changed from a rock just yet uh Ethel thank you much for follow saw that earlier but divide freeze that could definitely work here Shut up. Oh, can definitely work here. Woody looking for that Connie Rush down onto bottom right. We'll look at Scouted. Is there any dogs from Andy going that way? Unfortunately, no. The only scout from Andy is towards top left and top right. There we go. Now the scout incoming from bottom right. Woody's first refinery goes on top right. And looks like the rush does that scout it out what he does he he does put his corners into defense fortunately that's not enough the rush does get spotted and out comes the ng flag once again i believe that's to go bottom right to get the oil fc out from andy after the war factory down in bottom right while andy goes a minor from the war factory where do you go zero after a flag and Andy goes to seal. So NG flag and NG seal now. NG seal will be nice to defend. Uh, I thought Andy would use it to defend there, but no, he's using it to go forward now. His war factory gets captured by the engineer. And he does get sold as well. And the half full bunker is ready from Woody. Unfortunately, Andy's target, I think it's top right. Welcome back. Thank you very much, Sean. <laughs> Woody now pressuring onto the right side. The, oh, the seal going across the water here. Woody was quick to see that. You would think that the seal will actually go top right, but he can. The seals can swim. Woody now ulting the war factory, so the pillbox will damage the war factory, and a miner is being pressured on the bottom left. War factory getting rebuilt. IV hitting that top right oil. Bottom right is still untouched by Andy. GGI IV now will defend that push pretty well. And Andy being denied that bottom left ore. It's now getting hit with the other side of the ore here. Miner goes down anyway. That is a good trade for Woody. Woody now two war factories still keeping out the pressure here. Rhinos after rhinos after rhinos. And the bottom left miners here are still getting hit. Now Andy can crow them away, but if he crows them to the other side, the rhino is there. Crow them to the bottom, a rhino is there. And if he crows it back to the one in bottom left, it's only a while, a short time until the miners get hit once again. Will Andy building another miner from the war factory. Three war factories now out of Woody. And the pressure is definitely on here for Andy. Woody is still keeping up the pace. Alting the warfighter once again. That lab comes out from Andy. But his eco is shattered. Absolutely shattered. They're getting hit over and over and over again. He's desperately trying to rebuild and defend here. But Woody's pressure is way too strong. He's spinning up two rhinos now onto bottom right. Let's kind of hit that refinery down bottom left as well. Can Eddie keep up with the pressure? He has been defending decently uh, with those GGIs. But I think with his micro and ability to handle different groups at the same time here, just proving to be way too powerful. Bottom right expansion does go down. Along with that power plant. Power drop down in top right from Andy. Not doing much, they're just being forgotten about the pressure from Woody. So strong here. Right drop got top right. Finally gets noticed. Wood is going to use his miner by Andy. Calls GG. And that is 5 to 2 for 
Ore. I think it was Jean. Jean said seven three. Okay. All right. We'll see. We'll see. Everyone gets a prediction on the spot. Gets a free sub from me. So Brian. Jared is here as well. Uh, Jared, if you look at the top of the screen, you will see the scoreboard. <laughs> Three wins versus Woody ain't that bad. I agree. Just tuned in. Let's see. So Max went from saying that Andy will smash woody goes on to say that three wins versus, versus, versus woody in that bad can i track him back on your words there buddy so divide and conquer woody going top left top right oh, i'm blind woody desperately trying to end this scout and he's gonna wall up his mcv how do I to try to keep track of it? Mate, there's nothing else on the fucking screen except for the scoreboard. And my overlay down the bottom. <laughs> oh, Brian, Cinder was just trolling. So, we're now going zero. Connie's and a rhino coming in towards Andy. Andy going a minor? Yep, two minors from the War Factory. Yes, I see you. Radar is out now, so a mag should be able to defend against this one single rhino. The rhino, one health either way. So would he go zero and then I think we one my uh, one rhino and then goes two minus behind of it. Just to keep up this pressure against uh, Andy here. So go five minus now for Woody. Got five, six for Andy. Seven now. So if there's one thing Woody is known for sure is to be able to keep out the pressure and micro well. So we we'll see what he does. Uh, comes up to the same kind of thing again here. Looks like yeah. So it's not that laggy. Most of the games were actually pretty playable. I think there was only one that you could say was unplayable, but it did re and then it was fine after that. So got Connie's in the in flag zone coming or Dasso bombs. Going on each end. Woody all the way tacked up. And then he's gonna use a mag to defend. He doesn't want to get hit with those Dazzle Bombs once again, as we saw on Country Swing. Well, they're not all dwelled to lab tag, so Mastermind will be produced. And Mastermind, so we produce her income to Dazzle Bomb onto the left side. Mastermind is there. That mag on the bottom right does get destroyed as well. Hmm. So what do you radar out Dazzle's defensively? And uh, unlike when you're going up against an SVS, you don't actually need conscripts along the Dazzle's. Or where we were usually see a Rhino, and now we see a Dazzle ah. on that cliff for those miners. Mastermind will be there to push against, but again, the denial of eco here from Woody. Really, really, really good. And he's base walking all the way towards the middle as well. Three rhinos down onto the bottom right side to split. The fly is now incoming to overload. There is a grinder, but it's so far away here. So those two mastermind's all ultimately gonna go down. But Andy was smart to use the deserts to try and kill the flax. No mastermind's incoming there, just to get rid of the rest of the flak. So got two war factions now for Woody. And he has three. Disc in flight. 
First time we're seeing a dick here out of Andy. <laughs> Terry gets mutated for more money. So Andy's equal will be will be the worst here. But that IC is not ready for Woody. He's gonna deploy it. Gonna pop over that flag. He also get drone as well. I believe that was an, might be an engineer inside of that. As we saw once before from Andy playing against Legend, I believe. So this army here will get droned, all of them. And the disc this will deal with that that's on the cliff. Three war factories out of Woody. And he has expanded to that middle all patch. And you know getting the gems on the other side. So this is start on the ball players here. Woody tried throwing for that early pressure, but didn't work. Now we're seeing a different play style of Andy. He is bringing out the dicks. He never throwing the dicks out or dicks in flight previously. But we will see them now. Obviously the dicks being in the air will have another use for the flags. But primarily, primarily the flags were used to um, to overload the masterminds but now they can be used as anti-air as well. But can they be used for both at the same time? Probably not. Because unlike when a mastermind mind controls a flag, they will continue on with their previous uh, order. So if you target it uh, war factory with your flags and then you mind control them even though the flags were mind control they will still attack their war factory drones are being pulled out i see and they just grinding all of them there but prime targets here are the next bunch of units coming out of the war factory so yeah back to my topic even though the, the flags will follow up with the last order oh mine are going down in this case unless woody micros them and clicks the this they will follow if else they will not just go down there good micro by woody passing andy off guard woody base walking all the way to the bottom right lovely i see drone so now comes a cure off on one two three years on say ooh five War factories and three runners on bottom right. Not sure what that's up to. Two Kirovs from east side of the map. <laughs> I heard this one up top and I heard this to my right ear. I was like, where the hell is this in this bottom right? Look, Andy looking to mag a couple of miners here. The flags will be there to deny it. And now Andy making a push towards middle lane towards that. I see, I see it's ready in 10 seconds. There's so not enough to defend it. Lashes and mags are gonna, lashes and cats are gonna go at it. Should be able to defend it. No force shield out. Finally, at the last minute, the force shield comes out for Woody. On the defensive here, Woody, he will overload that mastermind, but the flight is overloaded. We'll be able to take out a lab. Now the power is being targeted next. Woody smart and very good on the micro there to target the flex. Target with the flex onto the mags. And now in comes that cure off. Where's the second cure off down on the bottom right as well? So Andy will need to defend from the air on both sides here. Looks like the top one will be able to defend it well. Bottom one though, not yet. The Kirov is still far out, but he does spot those Kirovs. And does Andy have the micro to uh, get away from those drones? Let's get I see it. He's going Madman style here. Down on the bottom. I see drones with that cure off onto the anti air. Andy, even though he has 10k in the bank, look at Woody as well. Number of units on the field are not that much. His production obviously a lot lesser than Woody here, having 4 war factories to 5 or 6. He might build a 6 now. Flats incoming to get the lab. The lab goes down, no force shield. And the flats are attacking the Gatling tanks as well. Kirov does go down eventually. So no damage, uh, but what it has done was force Andy to go get. Instead of the annoying mags and masterminds that you see. B1. Comes that Dominator instantly. Just misses it getting one or two rhinos. No new kind of Woody just yet. 
and you're not going towards the bottom right there is no split down along the top as well we'll look at the amount of flex of what he has overcompensation i don't think so the flights will do amazing as fodder and uh again yuri tanks doing glass cannons i think that amount of flak would be able to take care of a small army like this well a small army but the usual yuri small army two heroes now along the top drones incoming there is no gets Looks like at least uh, going on lashes here. All of his guys are down in bottom left in his main base. Trying to get a grinder out of the way. So that the masterminds won't have much effect now. The they, gear ups are coming on the top. The guys are still on bottom left. Andy's in trouble here. Like I said, the flex will do amazingly as fodder and to hit the units here. In comes both gear ups now along the bottom. And that IC is ready for any guys that comes out of the war factory. Unfortunately, yeah, that's a flimp. And uh, with his drone control there, but the Kirov's now ready to do some damage. And Woody now long distance mining in the middle, but the units from Andy here in the middle will be able to swallow that. And the drone I see coming down the middle as well. The Kirov's still doing a lot of work here. You can look on the left on your right of your screen as well. The drone's getting hit by the lashes. And the Kirov's doing so much damage here onto the left side. This is an amazing push by Woody. Andy defended what he could but the flags right to start to pull the care offs to pull the gat sorry and then the care of something on top and then the IC drones that are getting ready to move in the damage definitely done the veteran care off there gonna go for the mutator next no for sure now that mutator should be going down all sold and the damage huge there by woody raising i think one war factory uh the lab the grinders and the mutator that's gonna slow andy down quite a bit compared to the production that woody has two three four five six war factories and he now left on two and another split they're coming down to his bottom left Another two more fractures up the top, but it's kind of trying to get that psychic dominator out. The dominator does go down, but not before it gets deployed. Huge damage done there by Woody. Getting rid of the lab and both super weapons. And he does have the eco, and Woody does not. So we'll see whether Woody can still keep up the pressure and get Andy out of the game here but it is a very very good push out of Woody then comes a massive amount of rhinos there as well so Andy did well there to get a mutator up before he could uh before his mutator died but I think just Woody's total domination there right the start uh, right, the start of that push there. Very, very three, four dimensional attacks there. And his uh, ability to probably adapt well to whatever Andy throws at him. So, with the side of the map, now the eco is not looking that good. The nuke goes on onto probably the power racks and war factory here. Or here, the commander. Or we can get some of the uh, slave miners as well. We did not regaining his eco after getting the ton of gems in the middle. Why am I awake at 5.20 a.m. to watch me, Sean? To watch me. Oh boy, what a show here out of Woody. In a minimal lag game. Both players are actually doing really well, but Woody is stealing the show there with that four dimensional push. And he's trying to get the lab out here. The miners will be able to clean it up before it goes down. Yuri Prime comes up. The lab is not up for Andy as well. But the eco is looking pretty slim here. Gear of reporting. 
you could definitely look in slim out of both players there's only so much aura left in this uh, on this map oh andy 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 very smart player there <laughs> capturing that flag cannon to deal that cure of with the yui prime decided to sell everything here the flats overloading the yui prime getting hit the smart play there from Andy, but Woody was prepared to deal with it with a bunch of flak there. Andy definitely not giving up without a fight. He is still pushing on. There's only one. Another new prime comes up. I just think that maybe Woody might be giving Andy a little bit too much respect here in giving him a lot of time to rebuild. Drone IT has popped up for the mass is on the top. The rest of the drones are going for the Yuri Prime. She does get grinded. So another Kirov down to his bottom right. And the pressure here from Andy. Now Andy trying to do a lot of damage here, but Woody is just so prepared to deal with it. You got masterminds, I got flag. You got mags, I got flag. I got drones, and you know, you got you got gas, I got drone. I see, and you got buildings, I got cure of. You know, in comes the nuke onto top left here, and he does sell. Get a couple units saved. No cure of coming from bottom right. I've never seen this many cure offs against a Yuri. Uh oh, the drones managing to take care of the cats on the bottom with Kira knocking the damage. One power goes down, second power about to go down. And Andy is left on his knees here. Down it goes. He had Woody on his knees earlier, but Woody just managed to rebuild it. Even though Andy was given a lot of time to rebuild, the pressure from Woody and just you know, chilling in base saying, Come on, man, come at me. And in the end, Andy bowed out 6 to, to Andy out oh, to Woody now. So it is match points. So Tiberian will the map. Next map being picked. I don't know why I'm going purple, it's going pink. And let's go. Yeah, I'm not I'm not saying that Andy is not totally wrong. There is lag. But the thing is when you're playing against someone in the US and China, there's bound to be lag. And um this is the best that we can do this is the best that we can do with the circumstances that we have so as much as andy has to deal with it woody has to deal with it as well and on the on the game side there was a lag you know woody said lag and andy said yes and they re and then they agreed and on that one game i think where woody asked for a re and he said no um and he said that he had like 100 seconds to click on his double agiv so there is going to be a bit of lag but i think it's down to the players to deal with it because this is the best that we can do with what we have yeah blast lag is op i'm not gonna shit on andy too much here I'm trying to be neutral whenever i can but um yeah i've already said my piece <clears throat> players just need to deal with the lag and uh, i don't see woody complaining too much woody only complains about the lag when it actually really lags so most of the games were playable with the lag the divide and conquer game was very little if not not laggy at all so andy on the left are going allied america woody on the right sting iraq woody already prepped for that uh, giv with the bunker Seal IV now coming out. And he plays pretty good on this map. That's the thing uh, I was about to say on Tiburon. I would say it's an ally favorite map, but Allied is definitely pretty decent here. And Andy being a good ally player will be able to show up Woody on this map, or that's at least by my expectations. 
Let's see whether that is true. Uri going one minor here. And then pressing up onto the MCB top left where Andy has moved it. There is a pillbox sitting behind it. So we'll see whether that will be enough. That's NG Seal. NG Seal Seal IV is still in the middle. It's only made moon making its way to its bottom right. So Woody again keeping out the pressure. He will need to be wary of the Seal IV incoming. So Woody as always keeping out the pressure onto Andy even when he's not playing Yuri. Had to force a couple mistakes out of him and exploit anything he does wrong. Uh, pretty similar actually from both players. I think Andy is another one to uh, exploit the mistakes of his opponents really really well. Miners are getting hit, Andy's gonna chrono them away. Seal IV hidden behind the trees here. Does Woody spot it with the Rhino? He does not. The, the Rhinos are rally pointed. The pressure onto Woody proving to be really well. In comes that Seal IV, Woody spots in the nick of time there. He's gonna go for that Seal, Seal goes down. Andy now onto the lab, spamming out the Mirages here. He's gonna have to be wary of which uh, tree is a Mirage and which tree is a uh, normal tree. Double pillbox coming up, but Woody's still keeping under pressure here. The Eco. Andy's Eco obviously getting hit time and time and time again by those Rhinos, having to curl them back. The lab gets sold. Woody now on five minus two or factories and his MTV. Sold? What? Oh, it's in mid. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Buddhist MCB now in mid. There's a paradox on top right. Second one gonna join it quickly after the war factory there along the top left getting hit by Woody's aggro. That's good on eventually. Double power drop onto top right now. <laughs> From different power drops actually. AFC yeah, gonna go down on the bottom left. Prison Tower comes out now in defense. And the GGIs. And the GGIs. Will it be enough? It does not. So, with this pressure here, it proves to be very useful. In comes double para onto top right. Woody pulling four of his mines to deal with it. And the pressure here from Woody. I have a lasting pressure, man. Did he ever like back off except for now when he's uh, regrouping his rhinos? I don't think he ever did. He's been hitting Andy over and over and over again. And he actually waited his time there really smartly for his rhinos to come over. The radar is up now, so he can deal with that double para with a deso. Shaking, 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 shaking rhino, but down it goes. There's a death to do that double power drop. Woody can as well get a forward war factory just to help his efforts here in the aggression. But it's not looking good for Andy now. One war factory left in bottom left. His eco is in shambles here. $250 remaining. And again, Woody going for his eco. And Andy bowing out. Woody winning the entire series. 7 to 2. Just a shy away from the other predictions there as he doesn't need to continue i don't think eddie wants to continue unless you wanna you wanna message him subparodic deja vu maybe so gg is from both andy and woody both players played well but i think woody was just so dominant there and andy probably a bit tilted by the lag maybe and uh just not being able to adapt as well as uh, Woody did to the circumstances that we have.